Happy Monday, everyone. I'm wearing a t-shirt and cropped pants. That's when you know it is almost summer. I am about to head out to the post office to drop off my first shipment of orders. So I'm very excited to do that. Yeah, let's get this week started. Today, I'm gonna reply to a bunch of my emails. I'm probably gonna spend some time cleaning, but that's the luxury of being your own boss. That's really nice because I can clean in the morning, do some work in the evening, watch American Idol. It's a good Monday. Very different from last week. I got a last minute request from someone at my church for eight custom frames. She wants to gift it for Mother's Day. And so I told her I could do it. It's a rush order, but I'm gonna be writing the same verse eight times so that they're all handmade and hand painted. I don't think it would take me too long. But right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a rough layout on just regular paper to get the composition of it and to make sure that the verse and the number of words look good on the page. This is my pencil. I use them till they're tiny and unusable. This is very similar to kind of the dimensions of the paper. It's gonna be small than this just usually do a very very rough sketch so I did two potential layouts this first Corinthians verse has four phrases to it this has kind of like one complete thought on every line but this would work better for more of a landscape piece so this is an alternative layout it breaks up every phrase into two lines this just looks a bit better visually I can add flowers to one corner and another corner or something like that so that it looks more balanced Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's 10.30 a.m. in the morning. I just woke up and took a shower. It's quite late, but I was just so tired. I just slept in today. Why do I have to iron out my outfit if I'm not leaving the house? So I'm making my coffee now. I'm gonna take the rest of the morning to kind of straighten out my house and just clean a bit. It's looking a little disheveled. It is now 1 p.m. I'm about to get in the zone to finish eight custom art prints. This is the paper I use. It's the Canson watercolor uh, paper. It's cold pressed. It's the paper I've been using for probably five years now. And I got two of these on Amazon for, I believe, $20. I'm going to cut these down to five by seven sheets. I'm going to use my handy cutting board. Took a few tries, but I found a composition that I like. At the bottom, I actually kept it 1.5 inches so that it just feels a bit more weighted and so I can add a bit more flowers at the bottom and I made sure that the number of lines matched up with the artwork that I had in mind. It's really weird that Alex is baking right now. Never seen him bake in my life. What's going on today? We have two rotten bananas. He feels the urgency. He feels the urgency! Say hello to the new addition. This is my new laser printer. It only prints black, but that is fine. I need it to print my shipping labels. I was finding that it's kind of a waste of money using my black ink to print it on my Canon. This also is a scanner. So what I did was I sold my scanner and picked this one up all on Kijiji. It was pretty good. Everything is contactless. I think this retails for about $200, but it was on Kijiji for 40. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, 11 a.m. I am Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday 11 a.m. I really need to get back on some early morning routines. I am starting my work day really late. I'm about to head out to the post office to drop off my next shipment of compassion cards. I picked up some stamps at the post office and the lady said this was from last year but I literally don't think I've ever seen it before. These daisies I just thought were so pretty. And then these are the other ones I have. So this is also new to this year, I think, or last year. And I'm not a big fan of it. It's just a bit too vibrant for me. But I thought these gardenia stamps were so pretty. So I stocked up on these. You guys remember these? I'm about to do the calligraphy for some of them. If you notice in some of my calligraphy videos, I dip my nib in this glass jar. But it's actually just a refill of this Sumi ink that I have. I'm gonna try to make some iced tea. There's my ginger peach. Maybe 
like three of these. It's my wine carafe. to have some iced tea. I approve. It is herbal, so no caffeine, no more jitters for the day. So when you're done using your nibs, you gotta clean them. You gotta wipe them off and store them properly. What I do is I just grab the nib, put it in water. I don't usually use paper towel to wipe this because the fibers of the paper towel will snag. I'm very bad about cleaning my nibs. This is a rare sight. I have a few tins for nib storage, so this is one of them. I'm about to jump on Google Hangouts with one of my wedding clients, and I realize this is such a difficult time. It really sucks having to change all your plans, work out new logistics. I'm just really feeling for those who are supposed to get married this year. I was waiting for a delivery today and all day I stood outside my door and looked down to see if a package had come and all day there was nothing and then I opened the door and it's right here in the corner. I ordered some handmade paper um, that has really beautiful deckled edges. Hi guys! Steve! <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm seriously about to lose my mind because I've been troubleshooting my printer for over an hour. And I've tried all the different settings and drivers and like played around with the hardware and the software and like nothing's happening. That blinking of death. This is the most activity I've seen in the last hour. <gasps> oh my gosh, it worked! Alex, it worked! I'm super, super excited to see how it looks. Sometimes I find that, um, <gasps> hold that thought. Yo, 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 I see some artwork. It's looking good. I'm about to head out to the post office. I've been going almost every day. Commission that I was doing before, all the hand-painted scripture verses, I actually emailed the client and I asked if they were okay with a digital print instead for a much lower cost. They liked that option, so that's what I was printing last night. And then I'm gonna put them up on my shop next week after the client gets her first few art prints. After the post office, I think I'm gonna try to stop by Metro and pick up some groceries. Metro was having a huge sale on their Parmesan, so I got this block for 20 bucks. It's huge. So surprise, these are the prints that I printed last night. I slept so peacefully knowing that I was able to get my printer to start working. I know I'm definitely gonna get some comments about how I had to hand cut each of them individually. Yes, I have ordered a guillotine off of Amazon. This might be the last time I ever have to hand cut anything, guys. It feels really nice, like I'm really happy with this paper. This is the paper that I liked, and it's 50 sheets for 100 bucks. So it's $2 a sheet, um, which is pretty expensive, but I think it's really worth the quality. Guys, I actually ordered compostable plastic sleeves um, for my next batch, so hopefully that will help me reduce the amount of plastic I'm using in my packaging. Okay, 
Okay, so Alex thinks I'm really gross for doing this, but Jen and Steve dropped off some bubble tea for me yesterday and I couldn't finish it. So now I'm gonna drink it today. Kept it in the fridge, but this is the part Alex finds disgusting is I microwave the tapioca so it gets soft again. And then I shake it up with some more ice and then it tastes literally like a fresh bubble tea. Yeah, this looks kind of desperate, but it's also pretty genius. 10 out of 10. So I am currently printing one of the most popular commissions I get asked to do, and that is Joshua 2415. I think I'm gonna offer this in my shop as one of the first scripture art prints. I did one version with leaves and one version just plain, and I'm not sure I like how the leaves are printing. The original medium is watercolor, and when printed, they look kind of messy. Good morning, it's finally Friday. I'm just about to get ready to head out for some deliveries. I'm driving up to Thornhill. Before we go, I need to have a little breakfast. ready to ride. I have a pretty good playlist going on. I'm gonna listen to some rock music for once. I've been doing a lot of acoustic lately, you know, to get into the chill vibe of calligraphy, but I think I need to jam out for a bit. I got these gorgeous flowers gifted from Sunny and it was just really really nice receiving these. They were Celebrate Sailor paper but also for Mother's Day and just, um, yeah, it was so thoughtful and the vase is so beautiful too. I'm gonna keep these right here in my office where I can look at it all day. And I also got my guillotine in the mail already. Like that was super fast. But yeah, this is probably dangerous doing it with one hand. Alright guys, it's Friday afternoon which means I am turning my camera off. This entire week was actually quite slow for me. Um, just getting back into doing some custom orders, lowly shipping packages. Thank you to everyone, again, who have ordered my compassion cards. I feel the momentum uh, to start putting more items on my shop. Happy Mother's Day to you all. It's going to be cold, so uh, stay warm, stay safe, and see you guys on Monday.